Are you thinking about moving to Lakewood Ranch, Florida? Well, I'm here today to tell you don't. Don't move to Lakewood Ranch, Florida, at least until you've checked out these neighborhoods that border Lakewood Ranch, Florida and have no CDD fees, but are still close enough to get all the amenities of the um, downtown areas of Lakewood Ranch. So we are going to give you a brief overview of these neighborhoods and we're gonna get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about Florida Gulf Coast living, and subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to get all of the current market updates in and along Florida's Gulf Coast. Hi, I'm Lori and Todd the team and I get calls every day from people just like you looking for help in making their move to one of our beautiful cities along Florida's Gulf Coast and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule a Zoom, We'd love to help you make a smooth move to Florida's Gulf Coast. So as I mentioned, today we are going to give a brief overview of some neighborhoods that border Lakewood Ranch, are very, very close to um, Main Street Lakewood Ranch or close to Waterside Village, but yet they're not actually in Lakewood Ranch. Most of them have lower HOA fees, um, they have no CDD fees, yet you're close enough to enjoy all the amenities that Lakewood Ranch has to offer. And the first one we're gonna hit on is called Braden Woods. Now, Braden Woods is a neighborhood that was originally established in the 80s. It um, is a neighborhood of larger lots. They all have at least half an acre. Many of them have more than an acre. There are ponds in there that they sit on, and it is a um, great location. It sits just south of State Route 70 and just east of I-75, so it's an incredible location to get anywhere if you need to get up to Tampa, if you need to head over to downtown Sarasota, if you need to get um, down to Naples or anywhere else. It's just a great location sitting so close to some major roads. Now, Braden Woods is, um, as I mentioned, a neighborhood that's been established for a while. A lot of people are going in and completely remodeling the homes in there, um, or they are going in and tearing them down and starting over like they're doing everywhere. There are currently two homes for sale in there. Both are on an acre of land. One is at a million one, and one is at a million one fifty. And as a side note, this is one of the very, very few neighborhoods in this area that will allow septic tanks if you wish to be off the grid in that area. Braden Woods is zoned for Braden River Elementary School, Braden River Middle School, and Lakewood Ranch High School. Just next to Braden Woods is one of my very favorite neighborhoods. It is the River Club. The River Club was originally built in the 1990s through the early 2000s. It sits along um, right between I-75 and Lakewood Ranch Boulevard, very, very close to Main Street, Lakewood Ranch. Um, easy to get there, walk, ride your bike, um, super easy to get there and enjoy all the restaurants and the shops and the events that they have there. Again, no CDD fees, very low HOA fees. Um, most of them are under $100 a month. They have um, various lot sizes in there. So you can find some homes with larger lots in there. Many of these homes were originally built by Arthur Ruttenberg and Todd Johnson, so many of them in there are custom homes. It is zoned also just like Braden Woods for Braden River Elementary, Braden River Middle School, and Lakewood Ranch High School. And it's just a um, beautifully, beautifully maintained area. It looks exactly like 
it belongs to the rest of Lakewood Ranch and um, no CDD fees. You're not paying to have um, extra property taxes on top of it. Now heading just north from River Club and Braden Woods is a neighborhood called Eagle Trace. Eagle Trace is a neighborhood that was built starting in um, 2015. So they are newer homes. It is a Neil Homes community and it sits um, just right off State Road 64. There are approximately 300 homes in there. There's nature trails, there's dog parks, there's a community pool, there's a playground. It is a great neighborhood with low HOA fees and no CDD fees. Um, they are zoned for Lakewood Ranch schools in here, Gullet Elementary, Mona Jane Middle School, and Lakewood Ranch High School. Eagle Trace currently has six homes listed for sale, and the average median price of those homes that are listed for sale is $537,000. Just south of State Route 64 and east of Lakewood Ranch Boulevard is the neighborhood called Serenity Creek. Now Serenity Creek is a newer neighborhood. It was built within the last five years. It is a Meritage Homes community and it was built to be very energy efficient. They have um, smart HVAC systems. They all have spray foam insulation. They have Energy Star appliances. So it was really built for energy efficient savings. Um, there are currently five homes available in the Serenity Creek neighborhood. They range in price from $500,000 to $850,000. Very low HOA fees. Um, under $100 a month, and this includes a dog park, a playground, miles and miles of trails. It um, also is zoned for Lakewood Ranch Schools. It's zoned for Gullet Elementary, Mona Jane Middle School, and Lakewood Ranch High School. Another one of my favorite neighborhoods that borders Lakewood Ranch is Rosedale. Now, Rosedale is a gated golf course community. It does have a private um, country club, private golf course country club. It is a neighborhood that is just north of I-70, just east of I-75. So very close up in that um, North Lakewood Ranch area, it borders North Lakewood Ranch and close to the villages up there, not more than 10 minutes away from Main Street in Lakewood Ranch. So you're still very, very close to all of that um, down there and all of the action and events. It is a maintenance free community and it has no CDD fees. You have an option to get the private golf membership. It is not required. Um, however, you do have to get a social membership. And the social membership includes, um, there's a new clubhouse, there are is a fitness center, there's pools, there's a full service restaurant up there. Um, it's just, it's a great gated community with low fees and no CDD fees. It is um, zoned just as Braden Woods and River Club were. It is zoned for Braden River Elementary, Braden River Middle School, and Lakewood Ranch High School. There are currently seven homes available for sale up there. They range in price from $480,000 up through a million seventy-five. This community was originally um, built by Lennar. There are a lot of Lennar homes up there, but there is also um, some homes built by Ashton Woods up in there. 
So a lot to offer, a great gated community. Most of these other communities are not gated if that's what you're looking for and you're looking to avoid the CDD fees. Next up, also on the north end, up in what would be considered bordering North Lakewood Ranch is Avance. Avance is a gated community by KB Homes. It is a newer community, but also no CDD fees. It is just minutes from I-75, um, Highway 70, um, very, very close to 64. So it is very close to everything that you would want to get up to. They, um, they range from smaller homes around 1,200 square feet. They go up above 3,000 square feet and um, they are zoned for Lakewood Ranch schools. So these will also go to um, Gullet Elementary, Mona Jane Middle School, and they will go to Lakewood Ranch High School. Avance has 139 homes in it. They were all built between 2019 and 2020. And in there currently, there is one home for sale at $534,000. They come up from time to time. Um, and if you feel like this is a great area that you might be interested in, let us know and we will be on the lookout for anything that might come up in this neighborhood. Our last neighborhood that we're gonna give you an overview on is Bay Landing and it is in, its borders South Lakewood Ranch. It's down by Waterside. It, in fact, you could um, walk to Waterside and all the shops and restaurants that they have there. This is a D.R. Horton community. It consists of um, townhomes as well as single family homes. It is all block construction with very low HOA fees and um, no CDD fees at all. Now this is zoned in Sarasota County Schools, which is the number two school district in the state. Children living in this neighborhood will go to Tatum Ridge Elementary, McIntosh Middle School, and Booker High School. And the, the homes right now that are available in there are the townhomes, and they currently start at $428,000. There are just a few left, and it is a newer community. They are still building the townhomes. They just finished the single family homes. So homes do come up from there in from time to time, but it is a great alternative to Lakewood Ranch. And you're still very, very close to everything that Waterside has to offer. So if you have any questions at all about any of the homes that border Lakewood Ranch, if you're looking to um, be close to all of the action in Lakewood Ranch and enjoy all the amenities, but not have to pay the CDD fees, then give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule a Zoom. We'd love to answer any questions that you might have. And until next time, we hope to see you around town.